How you doing, Luis Ortega? Just wanted to share some thoughts with you today. On my way back from York, Pennsylvania, looking at multi-units, uh, helping people build wealth in real estate, helping them get closer to their goals of financial freedom, passive income. Those are some really key words when you talk about building wealth, because what's the reason? Other than making money and being able to have more choices in life, um, really what the goal is, is to have financial freedom so that you don't have to work every day in exchange for money. So anyway, get a call from one of my good friends on my way out here. Super excited. He's, he and his wife just sold their insurance business that they've been building over the past 15 years together. And, you know, really got me thinking. Because they're literally at the point now where, they're, where they can just, they literally are just taking a year off. He said, Louis, I don't know what to do yet, but I know we're going to take a year off and we're going to enjoy life a little bit and we're going to travel some. And uh, we're going to show our kids around the world, take them to places we haven't been yet. They love to travel. And, uh, and they just, they just want to take a year off and figure their life out. And I thought that was amazing. To have the opportunity, literally be 40 years old and have the opportunity to say, I'm just going to take a year off and figure out my life. Why? Because they understood something that I think is really, really, really key in this whole entrepreneurial world. Um, and that's, you can either work in your business or you can work on your business. And a lot of people own businesses and they're, or they're self-employed and they consider themselves entrepreneurs. And I get it, you're an entrepreneur, but you're your own employee. If you cannot remove yourself from the equation, and if you don't create a business that can be created with systems and processes um, that can be duplicated, and systems and processes that can be duplicated, you are creating yourself a machine that will run on its own without you. And that is the difference between working in your business and working on your business. So the idea is that if I was to stop working today, what kind of income would I have coming in? And that not much. A little bit of rental income from, from a couple rental properties that I own. I mean, other than that, if I don't get up and go work every day and go sell real estate, nobody's going to pay my bills. So, you know, it really puts, helps put things into perspective because retiring it doesn't mean you retire rich. It only means that you don't have to work every day to pay your bills. A lot of people think that you got to be rich to retire, and you don't. You can work on becoming rich after you retire. Retiring basically means that you don't have to work every day in exchange for money that you need to pay your bills, that that money comes in on its own. And that's a beautiful place to be in life. And we can all reach those goals, but we got to invest smart and we got to start businesses that can be duplicated create systems and processes that can be duplicated and that can happen without you being a part of it. And when you do that, now you've created a business that one day will gain value and that asset can be sold. And you can be in a position like my friends are today after you sell your business and think, what's next? What do we do next? So hopefully... That gives you guys a little perspective into my thoughts about working in your business versus working on your business. Luis Ortega, Slate House Realty, signing out.